In this video, we'll continue our discussion of the central nervous system by having a look at the spinal cord. The spinal cord is responsible for two-way conduction between the brain and the peripheral nervous system. It's composed of white matter and gray matter. White matter is the outer layer. It consists of myelinated neurons, and it consists of tracts of neurons which run to and from the brain up and down the spinal cord. A few of them are shown here. The neural tracts are organized according to effect. For example, one tract may carry impulses associated with pain. The gray matter is the inner layer, and it consists of neurons that are unmyelinated. It contains association neurons or interneurons and cell bodies of motor neurons. There are two roots which unite to form mixed nerves and there is a spinal ganglion which is where groups of sensory neurons associate. So here we see the sensory, a couple of sensory neuro neurons. Here's an interneuron found exclusively in the gray matter and then here would be the cell body of a motor neuron. So the dorsal root carries only sensory neurons, the ventral root carries motor neurons, and the only place that you would find interneurons is in the gray matter of the spinal cord. Here's an image that shows the spinal cord in relation to the bones of the, the spine. This would be the ventral side, closer to organs, and here would be the dorsal side. You can actually see the little spike of the vertebrae. If you run your finger down the back of your back, down your spine, you'll feel those little bumps and the little bumps are these little spikes of your spine. So the spinal cord actually looks pretty tiny in this image. The spinal cord is very well protected by these bones. Emerging from the bones, you, you can actually see the nerves and a little bit more of what happens to the nerves after they leave the spinal cord or just outside the spinal cord. In a subsequent video, we'll be taking a look at the significance of the sympathetic ganglion. In this video, we've taken a look at the structure of the spinal cord. 